Houston Texans take on the New England Patriots tomorrow, and we'll see how that goes. Cue the intro. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host, as always, Harley Dugan. 40 to nothing last week against the Buffalo Bills, and now you face another division rival of the Bills and it being the New England Patriots. And look, uh, Patriots competed very damn good against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who will be there in the playoffs, who will be competing for another Super Bowl. They played really, really good. The defense for the New England Patriots is up to par, like always. Like for Bill Belichick, his defenses are always going to be solid. And you got a guy, a rookie in Mac Jones, who Looks pretty good. He looks apart from the rest of the rookies so far statistically. And them coming, Houston Texans, you got Davis Mills and the lackluster performance overall from the offense has to step it up against the New England Patriots. This is a team, again, they're not anything too crazy. And this is a winnable game. This isn't anything where, oh, we'll chalk it up as a loss. No, this is a winnable game. But I just think the defense of the Patriots can be too much, especially for a rookie quarterback in David Smills. Just a rough, rough going for him so far. Here you go. Here's the Carolina Panthers on three days. And now here you go. Here's the Buffalo Bills on 10 days, rainy weather and a really good Super Bowl contending team. And now to even throw more load on you, here's a, one of the greatest coaches in NFL history, Bill Belichick, in his defense for Davis Mills and I'm not trying to give him any excuses he did not look good against the Buffalo Bills but at the end of the day the whole offense didn't look good either and Tim Kelly needs some of that weight thrown on him he did not look good he did not make Davis Mills look good or anybody look good against the Bills 40 to nothing is absolutely unacceptable also given getting no points at all is also unacceptable so in order for the Houston Texans to possibly win this game they got to play a lot cleaner last week the number of penalties on the offensive line and the offense and just really killed you could never start a drive that's something that the Texans have to clean up is plain clean make sure you get those turnovers you had a bunch that you couldn't recover for them to Texans defense who played very well last week I expect them to play well again against the Patriots. Those are the two biggest things for the Texans. You get the turnovers, you play clean, you give Davis Mills enough time in the pocket, have him be able to do whatever he can do, okay? I'm not saying he's a horrible quarterback just yet. I got to see a little bit more before I just throw us horrible quarterback like I'm not going to throw that on him quite yet I am upset at him and I am angry about him dropping zero points is disgusting but give it time let me see what else can he do for the Houston Tech so that's it for today's video guys make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell for the notice to turn on drop your comments your reactions down below in the comment section let me know what is the predictions, the game predictions for this game. Is it a win? Is it a loss? I got us losing this game. I really do think it's going to be more of a close kind of game, low scoring kind of feel to it. Uh, I am going to give the Patriots 20, the Texans 17. Davis Mills comes up short and the offense comes up short due to a lack of play calling ability from Tim Kelly in the last drive that they try to get into they try to get it into field goal range but they just quite can't the houston texans take a loss this week against the new england patriots that is the prediction 2017 patriots beat the texans but as always guys go astros go rockets go texans you have a blessed day